What's good, YouTube? You already know what it is, man. It's your boy, Ball VJ. And today I'm showing y'all the best Key Blast Saiyan build. Now, right here, you see is the QQ Bang I use for this build. Um, basically, uh, you're going to want to have your health, key, and stamina plus five. Um, just keep making it till you get it. It's not like one of those things where you can just magically just get the QQ Bang. You just got to keep making it till you get it. So, um,. There's that, and for the Super Soul I use, is power, a whole lot of power. It's uh, one of the DOC Super Souls. I'll put the link in the description. Well, not the link. I'll put it in the description where it comes from. But this basically maxes out your key without you having to use meditation. And also gives you a great boost in stamina, as you can see there. Now, for the skills, I recommend you have at least one melee attack for your super attacks. Um, do, I have do or die, so meditation will last longer. But if you have excellent full course, you won't even need do or die. Uh, your meditation will last forever if you just use that. And for your awoken skill, I recommend Super Vegeta for competitive play because Super Saiyan Blue Evolved, that's kind of like, if you don't have meditation or anything that can refill your key, you're going to get your key drained super fast and you'll lose your transformation. And that's not, a, that's not good. <laughs> and also Vanish Your Guard. The best evasive in the game and um if you don't have ultimate charge like i have it you can just use maximum charge but i recommend you get that dlc because it's a thousand times better than maximum charge and um for key blast just really if you don't have meditation then you can use big bang kamiyamiha or something like that but the reason why there's a bunch of dlc moves in here is because they're all over P or overpowered. <laughs> OP, I meant to say that. So just um if you want a link of the best uh, DLCs to get, I'll put that in the description as well. But um yeah man, a lot of the DLC moves are really good. If you want a non-DLC build, just let me know. Um but yeah, the DLC moves are the most overpowered in the game. Um, pressure sign it used to be overpowered. It's, it's decent, but you can dodge it now. It's just a counter attack. But yeah, man, it doesn't really matter. Um, for my ultimate attacks, I have one of the best in the game Revenge Dead Ball and Prominence Flash. But if you don't have neither of those, just use Super Kamiyamiha and Emperor's Dead Beam. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you comment, subscribe, and murder that like button for me, man. And any questions, put it in the comments. I'm A-Ball VJ, and I'm out. Peace.